What's up, junkies? Bear hunting, Wisconsin. Took me 10 years minimum to draw in this zone. So we've been doing this for a while, and uh, we had good luck. No. Dude, he didn't go 30 yards after I crushed him. <laughs> Yeah, so day one, uh, Brian Roberts and me, we went up a day earlier just to check the baits out, stands out, make sure everything's cool. Um, so we helped uh, Jerry, our guide, um, do a little baiting. All right, junkies, we, we get up here, what, it's Tuesday afternoon, tomorrow morning, bear hunting opens, so we're gonna go bait some stands, put up a lock on, and see what happens. Let us know where we're going. Yeah, we'll head out and we're gonna use a uh, sweet today and savory tomorrow. We'll see if we can change it up a little bit. And, and, uh, hopefully everything works. So we're gonna head down a few uh, logging roads, trails. Um, we'll hit river four bottom. stands, river bottom, yep. a couple ravines. Um, and you got some bears hitting bait. We got some so. bears hitting bait. Yeah. So, pretty excited. Almost looked a little reckless. You guys can follow us in. Okay. So it's hit again. Yeah, it's hit again. It's all spread yeah. out. We're gonna, and it's kind of nice because this bear, when he comes in now, he's gonna grab these logs and it should give you a nice shot. And then this is the dinner bell. <laughs> so there's a way you do this specially, huh? Well, so to keep the coon out. Keep the coon out. Because they'll go in a little spot like that. There. You'll be surprised. They, they'll move these they do. <laughs> so here we are on bait number one. Brian's gonna set this spot. So Brian. There. You see how big the lab is? You see how big the dog is? Shoot something bigger than the dog. <laughs> Outdoor Junkies is brought to you by Cunis Country. Bait Box on the Rock, Hunting Gear, Hangsters Motorsports, Bear Sets, Custom Jigs and Spins, B Fish and Tackle, and these fine sponsors. This has been a Stone Lake production. What's up, junkies? Today we're here with uh, Jerry and Mike. We're up in uh, zone A for a bear hunt. It took me 10 years to draw, which was about the minimum this year, yeah. to draw and bry. I had 15 years, so. Yeah, so it takes a while here in Wisconsin to actually draw tags for this area. Um, so what's the plan then today, Jerry? Well, today we're gonna use some uh, bacon and some blueberry paste. Uh, on the stands, we get the guys set up now. It's going to be about 12:30 when we get the first guy set. Probably about 1:30 for the second group, and hopefully we're done by seven o'clock tonight. I like it. <laughs> right a now. team, B team. Yeah, exactly. I don't care. I'm the B team today. <laughs> the B team means big. <laughs> big bear. Yeah. Big raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> don't tempt me, man. <laughs> Oh, God. 
Jesus, the squirrels can't stand. Oh, this is their back and it's tight. Little stick. Oh, yeah, you can smell that blueberry. What is that snake? Where? Oh, yeah, that snake. So on day one, it was great action. Um, and I would have to say, it was the calmest night I have ever in my life hunted. I mean, you couldn't even breathe without hearing you just, I, I just, it was so calm, dead calm. We did have a porcupine come in right away. And when he got into the bait, if a, a bear would come in or anything, he was kind of being kind of a to uh, the bears and um, just, <laughs> it was cool um, to show how aggressive he is out in the wild, um, even to a bear. Um, the bears even backed off um, when they seen that it was a porcupine in the bait pile. Um, so it was neat. It's just fun being out just alone bear hunting, let alone see what nature does. Um, so I didn't think we were gonna get any action, but we held tight and we had, it was, it was fun. We let the bears roll around and do their thing, move the logs eat a little bait, and we were fortunate on the first night to have some good action. In between the bear action and stuff, one thing we did notice, and I don't know if it was because it was so quiet, um, we didn't see Tweety Bird, um, it just we seen a couple bear and porcupine. Um, it was just, I don't know if it was because it was so quiet or what was going on, but I've never been in a tree stand with it so no wind, nothing's blowing around, and no birds, and nothing's totally moving. It was, it was unique, which well, that's why we're out there hunting also, because you know just to see that time, um, thing, it's just different. It stood out so much. Okay, northern Wisconsin here, day two. It's supposed to be 85 degrees, hot, and as you can see, the wind is at 16 miles per hour, and by dark, it's still gonna be 12. Um, so here in a little bit, you're gonna see us really swinging around the tree. Um, they, they've been getting hit, but the, the hours now are just different, um, sometimes more night. Um, we're gonna see if they're hit in the morning. Um, off the cards today because if they are, we're gonna come if it's not raining tomorrow morning. So we had a big front moving in. It's supposed to rain an inch tomorrow. So we're hoping they're gonna wanna feed before dark tonight. And uh, if there's just like, right. we have to sit the tree. So if it's a little one, he's gonna shoot it anyway. <laughs> After the first night, we went back to Jerry's camp and uh, showed him the footage, you know, and I was thinking that the bear was like, uh, the one that we passed was like in the 120s, 130 for weight. Um, then Jerry's like, oh, I'm thinking it's probably about 170, you know, so I'm thinking to myself when we went to bed that night, if that guy comes in tomorrow night, I might have to shoot him. What's up, junkies? sandwiches today. So the bait was hit by us tonight. We cleaned up. But that was that bear that was in that last night that we showed. Hopefully there's three other bigger, nicer bears than that little one on this bait pile that the camera's been showing in the last two weeks. We got rain coming in tomorrow. We're supposed to get at least an inch tomorrow. Yeah, so today is the day. Um, it's about 83 degrees right now. It's hot, but down in here we're in the shade right now. The sun will hit us in about two or three hours. It's like 12, 31 o'clock, so it's early. We have about seven hours to sit again, which is a long sit. So today I brought a cushion because it's harder on the old rump. Um, so I got the uh, 
here's my camera guy again. They said we're in northern Wisconsin, and probably two miles from Lake Superior. Um, so, I don't know, stay tuned. Hopefully, she'll be some more bear action, but bigger bear. So 10 years ago when I did draw my last bear tag in Wisconsin, um, I did go hunting with Jerry. Um, I've been up with Jerry hunting for at least 15 years now. A lot of friends and family I've went up with and hunted with Jerry. And uh, so 10 years ago I had a success too with uh, my bow. You know, and I was thinking that the bear was like, uh, the one that we passed was like in the 120s, 130s for weight. Um, then Jerry's like, oh, I'm thinking it's probably about 170, you know, so it's a 170 bear is a nice Wisconsin bear to me. Um, it, you know, we're up here for meat, having a good time, and uh, the next night, I wouldn't believe it, here he'd come in. Him, did I? Yeah. He's going down right there. I see him down. He's down. He's down. He's down. Dude, he didn't go 30 yards after I crushed him. Did you see that room I go? <laughs> uh, he's just a nice roly poly one. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'd say he's pushing like probably 175, 180. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. A lot of people treat bears like that all the time and shoot them. Yeah, and the cool thing is, there's not much dragon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put it right where I should. It hit right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he smoked him. Yeah. He freaking, I mean, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead right there. We see him fall. <laughs> We just crushed him, man. We're gonna go and grab the Illuminoc, kind of check the blood. He seriously is like 30 yards away from here. Um, he's just laying there. So we just just shot him not even five minutes ago. Um, so we'll sneak over there. I'm certain he's dead. He's laying there. Um, so yeah, let's we'll go check out the arrow. It looked like it just pounded it right behind oh, the shoulder. That, that mossy did the trick. Yeah. Here we go. Smoked it. Another uh, Wisconsin bear. It's only second day. Uh, I couldn't pass him up, man. He come in. You know, we're like, well, he's so, he's so he's so chubby, you know? I mean, he's not really long. He's just fat. He's a nice looking little boar. Yeah. Pretty hide. Beautiful yeah. looking bear. So he's just... I mean, this beautiful hide, this is a little chubby guy. Um, there's no way I can pass him up, man. Oh, talk about adrenaline rush. I almost threw up again. It gets me so ramped. <laughs> Another one for the books, junkies. Northern Wisconsin. Oh, we got Bri, he's still out. Um, Roberts has a tag, too. Um, they haven't seen anything yet tonight, but now is the go time. I mean, it's a little after 6 o'clock. He come in about 6.05. Um, so, 
We're gonna head out, get out of here, in case he wants to use this stand again. Um, Cause there's a couple more bigger boars that are coming in um, than this guy, so stay tuned. Jeremy, you want to drive? Okay. You got the camera. Yeah, he's got the camera. We'll just walk. Yeah. I thought it was part of that. Yeah, it's just two miles. We got an army to get a big bear. <laughs> yeah. And then. Well, why don't you get in there with Jerry? Yeah, what did you think? What the size of the one? The, not the shoulder. The rug. No, no, the rug. Beautiful hide, though, isn't it? Yeah, he's a beauty. Yeah, so right here, crushed him. Yeah, you heart shot him because he didn't make it 30 yards. Yeah, he has a nice coat on. Well, Jerry, thank you again. Yep. Just like uh, 10 years ago. Yeah. Come through. Um, Jerry Moore with uh, Tail Feather. Tail Feather Lake. Yep. yep. And uh, up here in Saxon, um, another good time with him. We have one more tag. Brian has a tag. Um, he has a beautiful coat, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's a chubby little guy. Um, so it was a great night, great hunt, second night out. Do um, you want to give a phone number? 715-893-5233. Uh, okay, thanks for calling. Use the chubbier one. Of the two that came in? Yep. He is over a hundred. I was right in the beginning. He said it bright the wicker thought he's over one eighty. I said one sixty five, one seventy and first. With Three. Right there's 165. There you cool. go, Jerry. Oh, I used such more. I don't know. 64. You think it weighs much of me? I don't have to pick up. Nice bear. Yeah. Sweet, man. I was stepping on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. There you go. There you go. Proud of the shot I put yeah. on him, awesome. man. Awesome. I really awesome. appreciate yeah. it. It's a nice coat. Cool. Yeah, beautiful coat. Perfect. All right, do a rug. This is probably this. Oh, a just... <laughs> Look at that. Ten ringer. That's like a perfect heart shot, man. Right through here. You know, that's where you want it. You know, and usually they move or something, but he held pretty still. But the tree was going. It was moving until right when he stopped like that, and it stopped, so I'm like, it's whammy time, you know? <laughs> oh, man. Sweet. Here we go tonight, boys. One down. One down. And would you believe Jerry was right? He was in like the 160s. We weighed him when we got back. He was right on, man. Um, which is a nice bear in Wisconsin. We had a good time. The uh, nice bear action each night. We had multiple bear coming in. Um, and that's what I like, just have action. I love bear hunting. It's my favorite thing to do. So I'm do some processing of the bear now. Actually, we're gonna make, he already, Jerry already processed it, and we're gonna make 
uh, burger now. Um, so he's got it in chunks, and then we're gonna add a little bit of burger, actual burger with uh, a bunch of fat in it. Um, so a patty's nice and that makes good burgers. Closed captioning is brought to you by Bear Sense. For more information, go to bearsense.com.